salvation through Jesus Christ is the best order and direction that we could give our loved ones. Ask the pastor. You need to get your house in order. I mean, we've heard that phrase. The question has come to us uh, all the way from Virginia. What does it mean to get your house in order? I mean, Joshua 24, 15, it says, uh, and if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve, whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood or gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So you cannot get your house in order if you're not serving the Lord. Um, and I see this phrase coming up multiple times. And sometimes when someone knew that they were getting ready to go home, they were going to die, they knew that their time was near they would get their house in order, which means they would give wills to people where they would make sure that their finances would be distributed among the people. If there were um, some business that they needed to take care of, they would finish that. That way the burden was not on the people that is left behind. But again, out of all those things, of those worldly things, the most important order that we need to do is make sure our house is in order spiritually. Make sure that we leave uh, the wisdom of God, salvation through Jesus, Jesus Christ is the best order and direction that we could give our loved ones. Could you well, talk to us a little bit about Hezekiah? Would you do that? Hey, Hezekiah was one of the finest kings in the Old Testament. And he loved the Lord. And as he uh, was getting to the close of his life, uh, Isaiah walked in and, sa and said unto him, in the days when Hezekiah was sick unto death, the prophet Isaiah, the son of Amos, came to him and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. And then he turned to his face to the wall and prayed unto the Lord, crying, I beseech thee, O Lord, remember how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart, and have done that which was good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept sore. Now we see this. Uh, it, he's probably dying of cancer, or at least what possibly could have happened here, because there was a lump in his body. And uh, God says, you're going to die. I set your house in order. Now, that was a grace for God to come to Hezekiah like that and tell him that he was going to pass so he could get things in order. And setting your house in order has to do with, you know, setting up your will or your trust fund. It, it, it has to do with your properties and how they're going to be distributed and, and your finances ultimately. And, and, and I think also in many times, it's getting your heart right with God. Right. And so setting your house in order is a good thing. Like in Hezekiah, he was challenged. And because of that challenge, he wept unto the Lord and said, Lord, I've served you all these years. Do I have to die now? And that's what he was ultimately saying. And then... Uh, and Isaiah had left, and before Isaiah got out of the house, God says, turn around and go back and tell Hezekiah, you got 15 more years. Yes. And I just think that's a wonderful thing that God, so in his mercy, said to him. Hello, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. To see more videos like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button below to get all of the latest content from TCT Ministries. We would love to pray alongside you for God's blessing in your life. So email your prayer request to prayer at tct.tv or click the link below to submit your request at tct.tv. God bless you and we want to thank you for watching.